From then to now, the only person who didn't have a tough time to get into the movie industry, the one who didn't work very hard to sustain in the film industry, the one who royally lead his life smoking 555 cigarettes without depending on anyone for roles, the one who lives a life of a king is hero Krishnam Raju. He is the one who turned into a rebel star after becoming a star. This is his biography. Uppalpati Venkat Krishnam Raju was born in Mogalthur, West Godavari district, on 20th January 1940, to Uppalpati Veera Venkat Satyanarayan Raju. He belonged to the family of Kshetriyas of Vijendaram. His father was one among the five brothers. They had an old camera at home that Krishnam Raju used to click family photos. He studied at Moglatur till 8th standard and later at Taylor's High School in Narsapuram where he repeated 8th standard. Later he joined PUC in a college where another star Chiranjeevi was also studying. Krishnam Raju used to spend a lavish life with friends and watch films repeatedly most of all, actor ANR's films. With this he failed in PUC 10 plus 2. Krishnam Raju expressed his interest in studying PUC again at Baruka College of Commerce in Hyderabad and his father accepted. In the second attempt, Krishnam Raju passed and later continued to do BCom in the same college. In his third year, he wanted to become a journalist like his uncle CHV Murthy who worked in Andhra Ratna newspaper. Put your money in movie magic. Yes, you join us as a film producer today. Sarkanam Stories makes it easy. We provide Compelling narratives Outstanding casting choices And skilled production team So, embark on a profitable creative journey. Contact us, me at the rate of srinivas.biz The co-students at college used to think that he was a lecturer as he used to come in Royal Enfield and Cars. With increased interest in journalism and related activities, he failed B. Com in the final year. With father's friendly advice, he took a studio for rent called the Royal Photo Studio and bought a couple of cameras, kept his still photos beside the then top heroes ANR, NTR in his studio. All the customers who visited the studio and his journalist uncle encouraged him to become a hero. One day at a bids center in Hyderabad, Krishnam Raju was approached by a stranger who followed him to his studio and provoked him to follow him to Chennai for film opportunities as he looked like a hero. Krishnam Raju after hesitation went with the man who kept him at a hotel used his money and disappeared. Taking this incident seriously, in 1962, Krishnam Raju closed his studio, decided to stay in Chennai and become a hero. His father supported him financially. His lodging was fixed but he didn't know who to start, whom to approach for film opportunities. During one of the conversations at Pondi Bazaar where youngsters met for film opportunities, he met a distant relative, M.K. Raju, a camera assistant, through whom he met director K.V. Reddy and director Pratyekatma and Pratyekatma reacted positively that he would consider him in future but asked him to keep trying and asked him to practice drama and theatre till then. He used to meet a lot of assistant directors who spoke to him about his 555 cigarettes but not about movie roles. In 1966 finally his Guru Pratyekatma called him for a film called Chilka Gorinka. The film got a disaster talk but earned a good name for the debut hero as he acted with top actors Krishna Kumari, Anjali and SVR. Krishnam Raju wanted to improve his acting skills, approached actor C.H. Narayanan in Mialavaram to teach him acting skills. 
After a few days Mr. Dumdi, who once spoke about his 555 cigarettes, approached him for a negative role. His Guru Pratyekatma convinced Raju that great actors like Shivaji Ganesan also did negative roles to enhance their opportunities and that's how Raju became busy with villain roles with Nenante Nene, Buddhimantudu, 1969, Manushulu Marli, 1969, Mali Peli, 1970, Pavitra Bandham, Amma Kosam, Jai Jawan, 1970. In about 46 to 47 films, he was busy doing negative roles. In 1973, in a film called Inti Dongalu, he got an opportunity in the lead role. This film earned a decent talk though it was not a hit. He continued to consider all types of roles till 1974. In 1974, a film called Krishnaveni, with Krishnam Raju as hero took to sets but the producers ran out of money. Krishnam Raju also shared the burden of producing the movie and that is how he started producing the films. He brought his brother Surya Narayana Raju as a producer to the film industry. Krishnaveni became a blockbuster hit. Later he acted in Bhakta Kannappa, the National Film Award winner for Best Audiography. His other hits were Mahanu Bhavudu, Bhale Alludu, Jeevan Tiralu, Manavuri Pandavulu, Bedbuli, Adavaru Miku Joharu, Taxi Driver, Khandra Papa Rayudu, Naidu Gari Kutumbam, Kutumba Gauravam etc. that earned him a distinct matinee hero fame and later made him a rebel star. He then took a break from acting career and re-entered films with Ma Nanaki Peli, Vansudhar Kudu, Sultan, Naku Nuvu Neku Nenu, Rebel with his nephew Prabhas, and considered character artist roles till 2013. He then entered politics and supported the BJP party. In 2013, he stood at Kakinada constituency for a Lok Sabha seat and won the election and later from Narsapuram Lok Sabha constituency and won a post in Atal Bihari Vajpayee's cabinet. He resigned from BJP in 2009 and joined Chiranjeevi's Praja Rajam party and stood from Rajmandri Lok Sabha seat but lost. From then, he withdrew his active participation in politics. He married Shamala Devi in a second marriage and gave birth to three daughters Prasidha, Prakirthi, Pradithi. He introduced his brother's son Prabhas to Tollywood as a hero who is now a pan-Indian star after Bahubali. Raju passed away on 11th September 2022 at the age of 83. Put your money in movie magic. Yes, you join us as a film producer today. Sarkanam Stories makes it easy. We provide compelling narratives, outstanding casting choices, and skilled production team. So, embark on a profitable creative journey. Contact us, me at the rate of srinivas.biz.